As a nation celebrates a victory in our fight for independence and athletes in some sports vie for titles on the athletic field, there are others who are competing in a bigger arena. And arenas don't come much bigger than life. And we recently introduced you to some students at Guilford Technical Community College who are competing in the statewide Skills USA contest. The best of those moved on to the national event, which just ended. And as you'll see in tonight's Buckley Report, there are a lot of smiles coming back home. Today, we are going to make some tableside guacamole. Maddie Gore is taking her dream and thinking big. I really want to be a private chef one day. Yeah, I'd love to have my own business. She has one key thing going for her. She's very, a very competitive. So her school, Guilford Technical Community College, thought, why not use that as academic motivation? Maddie is one of nearly 90 GTCC students competing in Skills USA, a nationwide contest in just about every skill that tests a student's readiness for the real world. This is our Olympics. So this, this is our Olympics. This is our time for students to shine. And so it, it's a big deal. If, if you make it to national, especially if you make it to the podium at national, the opportunities are endless. Lauren Lewis knows what that's like. She won the contest in automobile collision damage appraisal last year. And as I'm crossing the stage, everybody's like, oh, she's so cute. Look at that. She's cute. And I could not keep it together. Lauren's path to Skills USA isn't the normal one. She already had a four year degree from Auburn University and worked in the veterinary world for 17 years. But still, you're going to get me crying. I, mean, I ain't going to be able to deal with it. But something was missing. I was lost for so long, right? Um, I didn't feel like I was doing anything, didn't feel like I was going anywhere. Um, and I also was scared to jump because I didn't want to waste the education I had already received. Then a friend suggested she look at her passion, her beloved cars, and embrace it. I started saying yes to everything, and my whole world blew up. Everything is happening for me because I just started saying yes and taking chances on myself that I never used to do. And in first place from Guilford Tech, Lauren Lewis! Those chances paid off as Lauren won first place again this year. And walking across the stage and winning changed my life. And it just shows anybody that you, if you try, if you care, you can, you can get there. You can be whatever you want to be. It represented everything to me. And she's not alone among GTCC students. About 44 of them placed in the top five at the state, and in 15 contests, we placed first. So it is a big deal. Add a little bit of salt and pepper. Maddie Gore hopes to join them with her culinary skills, including a contest where she has to make guacamole live for the judges. The hardest part about the contest for me whenever you're making the guacamole is you can't taste it. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're making something and you just have to go on like your instinct. And it turned out that Maddie's secret ingredient. Love. <laughs> and that magic three letter word. Because it was like, oh my God, I said yes and look what happened. Were just what these GTCC students needed for seven of them to win gold or silver medals at the National Skills USA competition in Atlanta at the end of June, Bob Buckley, Fox 8 News. And yes, there were eight in that picture because one was a combined, combined sort of team event where two people shared the same medal. So Lauren Lewis, who you met there in that story, was one of the four GTCC students, though, who won gold at the event. Maddie Gore, who you also saw at the end, making the guacamole, was one of four who won silver. So congratulations and well done to all of them.